So friends, we'll be speaking about the femoral sheath, a three mark question. So I'll be demonstrating it with the help of a diagram so that you can understand in a better way. First, I'll draw the femoral artery. So consider this as the femoral artery. Okay, this is the femoral artery. I'll also draw the femoral vein. So this is the femoral vein. You can also see the genitofemoral nerve passing here. Genito femoral nerve is also present here yeah so I'll be drawing the femoral sheath so as you can see in the diagram this is the femoral sheath. The green part is the femoral sheath and the hole here is known as the femoral canal. This is femoral artery and the next one is in the femoral vein. Yeah, that's it about the diagram. You can see the femoral sheath is present. So the femoral sheath, the green one, is a funnel shaped sheath. You can see as in the diagram, it is a funnel shaped sheath. Medially, it is a bit extended. Laterally, it's a bit lesser than the medial part. It encloses the femoral vessels. You can see a nerve, you can see an artery, a vein, band, and the femoral sheath is enclosing these many parts. If this is okay, if this is the diagram, femoral nerve, femoral, sorry, femoral nerve, femoral artery, and femoral vein is present. And this is a kind of femoral sheath. This is the femoral sheath which is enclosing the artery, vein and the nerve. We'll write these points. So, it is a funnel shaped sheath encloses van. Van is nothing but a artery, a vein, as well as a duct. Then, femoral sheath is divided into three compartments. You have to know this. This you can see here three compartments. The femoral sheath is divided into three compartments. So, we'll study those compartments with the help of diagram so that we can understand it in a better way. So we'll draw the diagram. So this is the compartment. We'll draw it like this. So this is lateral compartment. This is the intermediate compartment and this is the medial compartment so there are three compartments of the femoral sheath lateral compartment intermediate compartment as well as medial compartment in the medial compartment you can see there is presence of a lymph node and in the medial compartment, sorry, in the intermediate compartment, you can see there is presence of femoral vein. There is femoral vein 
and in the lateral compartment you can see there is presence of femoral artery as well as there is femoral nerve so there is genito femoral nerve further in this diagram you can see there is septum in between these compartments so they are intermuscular septum they are intermuscular septum on the medial side it is called as the medial septum on the lateral side it is called as lateral septum on the medial side it is called as medial septum and on the lateral side it is called as the lateral septum hope you understood the video you can write the explanation about it by yourself so the femoral sheath is having three compartments lateral compartment intermediate compartment medial compartment in the medial compartment there is a lymph node and a med lymph node present only one structure one structure there is two structure present in the lateral compartment intermediate compartment has a femoral vein and on the lateral compartment there is a genito femoral nerve as well as the femoral artery between the lateral and intermediate there is a lateral septum between the intermediate and medial there is medial septum hope you like this video so please like share and subscribe in the next video we'll be studying about the femoral nerve we'll be studying about the femoral nerve a 10 marker question a very important question thank you